Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while I haven't posted, but in today's video I've got this well, two screen protectors from the one and only Magic John. Is this what you just made today? So I know it's uh, a bit late to the party, but I thought I'd give them a go see what they're about so we can just see the box here. It's got the Magic John branding around it and then gives us a bit of information. And let's have a look at the contents. So we got a few bits and bobs here, squeegee stickers and some QR codes on there. And then the screen protector in the magical case itself here. So this one is the privacy one and this is the third generation uh, screen protector, I believe. So we can see here that the screen protector itself is a bit darker than normal ones but that's because of the privacy technology so let's install this I'm just gonna quickly rip this open and just clean down my phone screen let's give it a good wipe and then make sure we get rid of all the dust so if I just slap this on here, I mean on the TikTok video they make it look really easy. Oh, okay, oh, that's not going to happen. Take two. So pull it from here, I believe. No, oh that was a huge fail. Right, so I figured it out. Should watch the instruction videos, but the top bit here needs to be clipped on so that it holds that side in place. So now, if we put it back on, and I'll just get a nice snug fit, and then you pull this tab off, which supposedly gets, well, takes the film off the screen protector and gets rid of any dust that's on the screen. And then you do the little wipe on the bit there. Let's just take it off. Oh, you can see it. Fully automatic adhesion. <laughs> Right, so let's get that all the way to the end. And I noticed it didn't actually do a full adhesion, so to speak. So I had to kind of work some bubbles out, but we'll peel the top bit off. Oh, okay. Well, that's clearly not fully adhes adhesion, is it? I'd say that's around 94% adhesion. Right, so I'll have to keep an eye on that and see how that goes over the next few days. I mean, I know some screen protectors can have bubbles which go away after a while, but straight away I've noticed that the screen is darker than what it was normally, but that's the price you pay for these previously, previously screen protectors. But it seems to be working fine in that respect. Fit-wise, it aligned really good around the edges. No problem there. And even with a case on, it wasn't hindering the case itself. And we can see they have this nice little speaker grill thing at the top. So let's do the durability test, the magical water test. That was fine. Fingerprint wise, I do have slightly clammy hands, so it's not too bad, but still. Just thought I'd give it a little go with a screw. I'm pressing medium pressure I would say and no marks there let's try some coins again I'm applying medium to hard force here and again no marks that are visible let's try with this very sharp knife Which seems to be okay and then I'm not going to hit it too hard, but see what happens with the hammer here. Yeah, it's not like shattering or... I guess you would have to give it some good force to shatter. So, in conclusion, I mean, the screen protector does seem like really good quality. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that for previous screen protector, you have to lower the... Sorry, increase the brightness because it kind of just dims the screen overall does the job as a previously protector and feels solid and apart from these little adhesion problems it had which I'm hoping goes away in the next few days 
I think the screen protector is really good. Um, it does seem solid and does the job, but we'll have to see how it holds up. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.